Peter Scott has spent his life on the railways and was a founding member of the Railway Preservation Society of Ireland. He was the driving force behind the restoration of the number 131 locomotive, originally built in 1901. By 2003 it was scrap, but Peter sourced new parts for the engine and arranged for others to be hand-designed and forged. His work has saved this iconic engine and enabled restoration skills to be passed to the next generation. I'm here in this role just over two years. I've had people from as far afield as Peru come and can't believe what they can see and, and smell and hear. It's just the most evocative place to come and visit. What we like to call ourselves, I think, is a, is a working museum. We uh, preserve and restore railway locomotives and rolling stock, but we also operate them. You're looking at locomotive number 131, which uh, is a, for the technically minded, it's a 440 Express passenger steam locomotive that was built in 1901. It was a major project um, starting in uh, 2013, I think it was. Uh, came out of traffic in the 1960s and was really a very sorry sight at the time that we acquired it. We had no drawings apart from one uh, original general arrangement drawing. There, there were a lot of bits and pieces were missing and uh, it was a heavier or more thorough overhaul, uh, more basic overhaul than we had ever tackled before. I started my working life as a in mechanical engineering in Belfast Shipyard. I remember, for example, being taken by my father to beside the railway line near Newcastle in County Down, where we put a penny on the line. And I was a little boy, about four or five at the time, and. Uh, to hear the train starting out of Newcastle and getting faster and faster and louder and louder and then rushing past, you know, for a wee kid of that age, it was tremendously uh, inspiring. Peter has taught me so much and Peter continues to teach me. Um, he's here an awful lot. He said he would be here four or five days a week. There's nothing that Peter doesn't know about the engineering of these beasts. Engines need overhauled every 10 years, so, and we have a lot of operational engines. Just, you can't just go to a shelf somewhere and get these things. It's incredible that people still have the skills and are able to employ those skills. And we hope that we can pass those skills on to the next generation also. It's 50 years since these beasts ran passenger trains. They're evocative. They allow people to reminisce. They're, they're incredible pieces of machinery. The whole space is a social enterprise in the very strongest sense that it could be. Um, we support about, across the island, about 200 volunteers. We have a membership of over a thousand. I often say about volunteers that this isn't a hobby. It's not a hobby down here. It's a way of life. So that's how important it is.